What's up everybody? December 27, 2021, Big Bear Lake, California, 28 degrees, 6, 15 p.m. This is again, part of the heaviest part of the storm. We're gonna do a whole tour around the lake right now for you guys. I appreciate what you guys do for me. So I'm gonna always go way out of my way and do the best that I can for you guys. And thank you guys for helping me to be a better driver. Cause I know sometimes, you know, from out, from, from, you know, out looking in, it can look like I'm a jerk sometimes. And I gotta take responsibility for that. And, uh, and you guys have, have, are really helping me change my ways quite a bit. So I owe you guys a lot. I probably owe you guys my life, like not just for helping me with all my depression, but for staying safe on the roads. So I appreciate you guys. I promise you, you're not gonna hear one time me complaining on this on this drive. But anyway, we are entering the heaviest, uh, the most snow part of town pretty shortly. We are in Big Bear Lake right now. Pat, we just passed the village, kind of like we're headed out of town. So we're gonna go all the way to the dam and then go around the lake, see what the conditions are all around the whole area here. And I hope you guys enjoy it. That's where we're at, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. You can see that little, that, that little thing, I don't know, that's where we're at right now. And the further we go this way, the snowier it, it gets. That's the snowiest part of town right here. Oh, that's pretty cool, I can show you guys that like that. Oh, look at how beautiful and adorable that place looks right now. Oh man, I am so happy. I do think driving 10 miles an hour is the safest thing to do on these roads right now. I don't think going any faster would, would be safe. I told you guys I'm gonna be a grown up. I'm gonna be a grown up, I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna enjoy the beauty. And it will give you guys more things to see maybe I don't know the only problem is I can't turn on my brights and I want you guys to be able to see everything with the brights on look at this guy he's pulling a me he's doing a me but I'm not gonna do that I will not do that guys because I have learned from you guys and I'm a much better driver because of it you have no idea how bad I want to do that though oh man I'm itching but I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna hurt anybody. Not even myself. Clean the windshield off a little bit there. You know what, I'm gonna stop and grab a Sprite. Man, I've stayed away from caffeine. I haven't smoked any of what I usually smoke in over three weeks. I'm trying to give up everything bad. The only problem is, is I do it all at the same time. I give everything up at the same time, but that's okay. You guys have given me so much hope to live. I'm so grateful for you guys. I really do owe you guys my life. I really don't know what would have happened a month ago um, if I didn't have this channel with all you guys showing, showing me love. I was so depressed and I'm still depressed, but not, not as bad. Thank goodness. But without you guys, I, I'm just, I just want you guys to know you're all angels. You are all angels and you are all divine. I am so thankful for each and every single one of you and all the love you guys show me. The comments are so unbelievably beautiful. I'm so grateful and I love you all. Yeah, we're gonna grab a Sprite real quick. Hang on. My friend works here, so we're gonna go inside it. 
as I said, to say hi. I didn't expect to do the video to walk in and say hello, but we're going to. Her name's Carrie and she is such an angel. I love her to death. Make sure I don't get this. Oh, let me walk around just real quick, show you guys. This is basically just your, your regular liquor store, but I want to come in and say hi to our friend. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? Everybody, this is Carrie. Hi. One of my best friends in the whole wide world, one of the <laughs> sweetest ladies who ever lived. She just had a grandbaby yes. on Christmas. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Six pounds, nine ounces, and 19 inches long. Oh His my, name's oh. Preston. Oh, that's a beautiful yes, name. Yes, you want to see a picture? Yeah, let's see oh a picture. Gosh, let's see a picture. Let's we'll see a picture of Preston. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I hope he's still on there. Oh, he is. Isn't he cute? Oh, he is so he's, cute. He's already tired. He's so cute. <laughs> he's already tired. Hey, it, it's great to see you. Yeah, and and seriously, you congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too, I Carrie. I love you big time. I love you too. Be careful out there, okay? I will. Hey, uh, did you get your soup? I got my soup. Okay, make sure you eat Guys, it. Okay. she gave me soup because it's cold outside. Spring crackers. Just Super. trying to stay healthy. <laughs> I love, I love you. you big time. Thank you. I love you too. Guys, don't forget this lady. She's a, she's an angel. Yeah, come see me. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. All right. Bye, Carrie. All right, thank you. Love you. I'm going to watch it. You better. Saw for a minute to get my seatbelt on. That was so cool. So I just wanted you guys to meet her. She's so sweet and she's working all by herself here at night. But when it comes to shopping up here, you guys, Big Bear Smoke and Vape, that's the store. This is just a liquor store. So, but when you want anything up here, any novelties and stuff, go to Big Bear Smoke and Vape. As I say, the owner Sahil is one of the sweetest dudes ever. Great husband, great father. It, it's it, he just warms my heart so much and anything I can do to help them because they opened a second store in Big Bear Lake um, kind of near the village and I want to do a video over by there and you know what like he's so worth it he is so worth it what a good dude what a good dude but yeah so we stopped by that store and funny enough I, <laughs> I got all caught up in talking to her and I didn't get my darn Sprite that's too bad. That's too bad. It's okay. We'll be okay. But yeah, so once again, Big Bear Smoke and Vape is the place you want to be. Um, as I said, a lot of people who live up here, they drive all the way down the mountain to go get what they need. But regarding him, there's no point because he's not going to overcharge people. It's a really good situation. He's a really good dude. I love him to death, so I would help him as much as I can. He said his Big Bear Lake store needs needs a lot of help because it's brand new, and so yeah, I just I I, I hope you guys would at least check it out. Once again, it's called Big Bear Smoke and Vape. They have two locations. All right, and if you guys are wondering, no, he's not giving me any money for this or nothing, absolutely nothing. I just want to do it because I love the guy. He's a good dude. He's a really good dude, and he was one of the first people in this town that made me feel welcome because when you're new up here, a lot of people don't make you feel so welcome. And I just, uh, it, it was really hard for me when I first moved up here. Very hard, because my family had exiled me. So I moved up here to die. I literally moved up here to die. But I wanted to live here because I would die in the snow. And I'd rather be really depressed in a place that could potentially bring me some happiness, which is a snowy area. And this is the snowy area. So and then all of a sudden, you know, well, I was planning on, obviously, when I moved here, I was planning on recording the snow because then I can watch it on TV when it's not snowing outside, when I'm really, really depressed and it makes me feel really good. So, 
I decided that I was going to record all of them pre, during, and after every single storm. I've never missed one storm in seven and a half years, you guys. I don't take any vacations or any breaks from about October 1st till the end of May because we'll get snow at, at the end of May sometimes. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm loving this traffic right now. This is great. We're going to get around the lake nicely. Very nicely. Look at how much snow is falling over here. Look at the side here. Holy moly. As I said, you guys, this is the snowiest part of town. Let me plug this phone in real quick. At least the snowiest part of town when you're not considering the ski resorts. But yeah, so this is where we're at now. We're almost at the dam. That arrow at the top is where we are. Wow, we got someone right on my butt. Huh. I'm driving slow for you guys too. But all right. See, this is what you don't want to do. When someone's on your butt, you don't want to appease them in this type of weather. I'm the type who doesn't want to hold people up, so I'll speed up. And then I'll get in an accident because I'm trying to be nice. You guys, please, that's the that's one of the biggest ways people get into accidents up here. Do not do that. <coughs> Just pull off if you're not comfortable at, at the next pull off. Since I'm comfortable, I'm speeding up a little bit because we're going to be turning right here shortly anyway. Let me turn off my brights here. Okay, so we're going to make a right up here. We're at the Big Bear Dam now, and it should get really windy like this here and really heavy snow. Well, I'll roll it around the window so you can kind of hear. Please be going straight, everybody. Please. So this is showing me that Highway 18 is open, you guys, but I don't know why you would want to drive down right now. It's nasty. All right, let's get a little loose here. All right. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. We just spun on the new snow. That was fun. All right. Guys, this is... Wow. This is very awesome, man. Wow. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. The lake's to the right, but you can't tell. Okay guys, so look, I am going a little bit faster. I'm still not going the speed limit because it would definitely not even be nearly safe to go that speed. But there's nobody on the road over here. I know it's still early, so that's why I'm not going fast because there could be kids out here. Probably not on this road, but I assume that they are on every single road that I drive on up here. Because of how much I drive, the, I, I have a much higher chance of, of causing trouble. And so I just need to be cognizant of that always, and I am. So we're driving about to enter the fawn skin area. As I said, the lake is to the right. Let's hold down the window. You can't see a darn thing over there. You cannot see anything. Now I'm getting snow right in my face. Mother Nature just gave me a snowball right to the dome. I'm so glad you guys got to meet Carrie. She has been one of the other people in this town who has really, really made me feel comfortable and been really nice to me. I'm telling you guys, this is not an easy town to assimilate to because the people stick together up here big time. I've seen people run off this mountain. No kidding. I am not kidding. They offend one person and then all of a sudden like a bunch of other people will make it uncomfortable for them and they move off the mountain. It's just not cool. You gotta stand your ground. But you gotta stand your ground. But 
the nice people up here are the nicest people I've ever known in my life. And even though the crime rate's pretty ridiculous up here, I haven't experienced any of it. So I just want you guys to know, I've been here for seven and a half years. I live in a little shack, a 400 square foot shack. And you would think that there'd be more crime activity in those little places that there's not, you know, as much security and stuff like that. No, I've been, I've been very, very fortunate up here. I haven't had to deal with really anything. I haven't, I've, I've never had anything stolen from me up here. At least I don't think. Um, yeah, it's been actually a real pleasure. The, when I first moved here, the crime statistics really did scare me though. Because per capita, it's ridiculous. It's really high. In more ways than one. But I love Big Bear so much. And I want to thank all the Big Bearians for being cool with me. Or at least most of them. And not making fun of me for doing these videos because I have a feeling these videos help to bring in money to this town. And without the tourists, we don't get to live here. I remind you guys about this all the time. That's why that's one of the reasons I'm extraordinarily grateful for you guys. Is because without you guys coming up here and spending money and fiscally impacting our economy, we have we have no chance of living here unless we're rich and retired. Because there would be no jobs. So it's just a blessing. And you guys are a blessing. The lake is still to the right of us. So if you remember just where we were at, at the Big Bear Dam, you remember seeing how you couldn't you, you couldn't tell that there were any huge rocks there because there was so much snow. Usually this part of Fawnskin area gets a lot of snow too. But it's not nearly as much as there just was right on the other side there. It's incredible how just a little bit of distance up here can be such a magnificent change in the amount of snow you receive. As I always tell you guys, if you want to be up here and want privacy and just to chill and don't really care if it's a lot of snow or not, then the Baldwin Lake and Irwin Lake areas are the places you want to be because it's much more quiet. and further out in Big Bear City. But the closer you get to Big Bear Lake, the town, and even further, like where the dam is, that's where the snow really piles up. Also over here, the snow really piles up too, as you can see on the left-hand side. And look, the trees are turning white too. Oh my God, that's so unbelievably beautiful. <coughs> I am a happy camper. So let's show you guys one more time where we're at on this map here. Obviously on the arrow. I love you, Johnny and Bobby. Those are my friends. I said hi to them on the loudspeaker. Okay, this is Fonston, folks. And this is an old historical building. I, don't, I can't remember what it is, but it's a historical building. It's, it's beautiful. gotta turn it up a little bit you guys that heat on my windshield just so the windshield wipers don't collect snow and then streak you don't want them streaking wow look at that cool house 
sorry you guys. Uh, it's so abrupt with the camera, but it is the best I can do. Look at this guy. Poor guy. Shoveling his car out there. great how this thing handles like this. Now watch me slide off the road. But seriously, we're going around some sharp turns and it's handling like a champ. This is a beautiful part of Farm Skin, you guys, where you can actually see. These houses are on the lake, or they typically would be on the lake if the lake wasn't so low. favorite houses right here in town and this is kind of a newer resort it's been here for a while but they updated it I can't remember what it's called so I'm sorry if you can bring it up but it's in Fonskin Only place I've ever crashed up here was when I had my Mercedes ML 500. And I had had it for 12 years at that point, was this turn right here. I was coming up to it too fast and I tried to turn and I just kept going straight and slid right into that little berm. And it felt like the, the car completely fell apart, but it just did a little bit of damage to the bumper and the quarter panel. But the impact, I was like, oh no. That's the only time I crashed up here. I, ha I think I have, I, no, I do have it on video. I just can't remember which video. It's back with the old crappy cameras that I had because I had nothing. I, I, I had no money. I had nothing. I want to thank my good friend Jeff Wells. He's part owner of Boost Mobile up here. He gave me a job at, uh, at Circuit City at Radio Shack up here while they were open and that that helped me a lot that helped me a lot that kept me up here because when I moved up here I sold everything and I had like a six months worth of rent paid up front because the rent's only $5.50 a month in my little place and then every day was scary because it was hard to find work I also got to work for Domino's for a little bit and that was kind of that was kind of a rough job, but tips were good. Tips were good, but... The issue with that place was the managers would give their friends the big orders to go deliver. And I started to really notice that. And uh, I didn't have much of a filter back then. And I got really upset because I told them they're, they're stealing from me. I'm sure it's different now. You know, I've forgiven them. But the owner didn't care. The owner, Mark, he didn't care at all. He got mad at me because I was sticking up for myself. So I lost my job there. But I'm always going to stick up for myself. And I did it appropriately at first, but when no one listened or cared, and I, I, you know, I, guys, as I said, I am human. And believe it or not, I have, I have, I've got a really bad temper. I know you guys haven't seen it yet, thank God. But I have a really bad temper. And taking martial arts on and off for many years, especially BJJ, yeah, like, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a tough guy in any way, but I'm the wrong guy. Let's just put it that way. Enough about me. 
hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful drive. We are on the North Shore, not of Hawaii, but of Big Bear. This is just spectacular. This next turn right here, oh wait, no, it's not this one. I'll show you guys which one. Not that you're gonna remember where it is, but oh, look at how huge that house is. Oh wait, never mind. that's the Big Bear Visitor Center, my bad. <laughs> one of these turns coming up, guys. I see cars go over the edge all the time. So once we get there, I will show you. But just so you know, we're getting close to Stanfield Cutoff, just for those of you who kind of know the area a little bit, we're getting kind of close to Stanfield Cutoff. It's this turn up here where it says uh, 20 miles an hour. You'll see some of these, these little reflector signs missing, and I'll show you where. This is where the cars go off often. Look, it already, it already happened again. Someone of them already went off the edge during the storm and got rescued already. That's insane, you guys. I hope they're okay. I saw a car upside down right here on the right. I've told you guys this in the past. When you're up here in this type of weather, if you do see a car in that situation, please, please, please stop. Please stop and just go check on them. Make sure they're not in the car. Most likely they'll have already been helped in and gotten out and somebody picked them up, but please go check. Because if they're unconscious or something, they're gonna die in the cold. We want you guys to come up here and have fun, not live a crazy nightmare. So we're at Stanfield Cutoff. We're gonna hang a Roscoe here. Make a right. And then head back. I love to have my brights on because right in this little part that we're coming up to it's wide open so you get really windy so I'm just going to slow there's no one behind me so I'm just going to slow down and wait for that guy ahead of us to get way ahead there's no one behind me guys so don't worry I'm not blocking any traffic I mean, look at this look at how windy this gets here Going right into the car, but that's the lake over there. I know you guys can't tell. This is not the lake in front of us, it's a street. <laughs> and that's the Baldwin side of town way out there. But this is Stanford Cutoff, and it's a beautiful, beautiful part of town. Some of the best views you'll ever get in town are from here. And they just put up all these like rails and stuff like that last year because people used to always stop on the side of the road because it's so beautiful. So I'm kind of, that's one thing that I'm a little bit bummed about, that they, they ended up doing that. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna go, no, we'll go right, forget it. I'm gonna turn right. I'll take your third boulevard, that's the way.
going to take a little detour. So this is where Vaughn's is and Dollar Store and all those stores are right there. We're just going around this little side street because it's dark and it gets really windy and really pretty. I'm really glad to have you guys with me. This is awesome, and I really hope you guys are having a great time. I enjoy doing this a lot, and I, I, I really enjoy doing it for you guys, especially those of you who, who do show a lot of gratitude. I put, put myself in jeopardy out here every single time, but it's okay because I have fun doing it. And if you're gonna get hurt, get hurt doing what you love to do. If that makes any sense. It would be a good pain, like s and I'm just kidding. Just kidding. We're not gonna go back to Bingo Boulevard this way. We're gonna turn right here on Scott's farm. get stuck up here the best place he's one of my very best friends in the whole wide world it's right it's here on Garston it's called Knights Automotive K-N-I-G-H-T-S Automotive right here on the left so Garston is essentially Moon Ridge Road it's just the other side of Big Bear Boulevard but this is Knights Auto I'm telling you guys he is the most trustworthy person ever I knew him we moved up about the same time, but then I met him. He was an employee there as a mechanic, and then a few years later, he ended up buying it. So I knew him before he owned it, and he's the one who, who inspired me to, to, to get the Harley. So I ended up getting the Harley, and we used to go riding a lot together, but I like people to go there when they have issues with, with their vehicles, and I always tell you guys that if you feel like you're being ripped off in any way, I'll pay for your service. That's how honest this guy is. He is the he is the epitome, just like Sahil, who owns Big Bear Smoking Bay. Those are people that you want to help out. The people who are always doing for others. Trying to get that reach on the ice off. You need to pull up a little bit, dude. If you're not on the sensor. pretty good on this drive. I did pretty good. Oh, look at that guy go through the red light. What is it? See? You got to be careful of that, guys, because people are speeding through here. And uh, it's really hard to stop. Well, you guys, that's it for this drive. If the snow picks up even more, we'll be doing another one. Whatever changes, we will be going back out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. 
We just drove around the whole lake, nothing but the lake. And that's it, I love you guys.